Okay, now, many of the front pages this morning, of course, as you would expect, marking the first anniversary of the Queen's death. And this morning, King Charles has released his own tribute to his late mother. Lovely words. Of course, today's anniversary also marks Charles's first year as king, so we have been looking back at a historic 12 months. Well, in just a moment, we can talk to Royal Editor Russell Myers and Royal Commentator Jenny Bond. But first, let's join GMB's Richard Gaysford, who's just outside Balmoral, where King Charles and Queen Camilla are spending today. And Richard, I guess they're marking this anniversary privately. Yeah, a very quiet day. Uh, the King, of course, this time last year, Lorraine was with his mother when she sadly died, and he will be back at Balmoral today, a day of personal reflection, we're told, as he thinks about the late Queen and the day that he made his accession to the throne, surrounded by all of this wonderful landscape that we know he loves and he takes so much inspiration from. Uh, we are in the village of Ballata today, just down the road from Balmoral. Uh, the Queen, of course, uh, very much known and loved here, as is the, the entire royal family. And this time last year, this place just went crazy. Uh, the world's media descended, a huge amount of activity, much quieter this year, although people are still slightly surprised that the time has flown by so quickly. Uh, no big events planned, but they will be thinking very much of their former neighbour. This picture, these flowers uh, arrived here overnight, and they're reflecting too on the service that the King has given them and all of us uh, over the last year. Richard, thank you. Thank you very much indeed. And, and you're absolutely right when you say, I can't believe that a whole year has gone by. Well, Russell is with me now alongside Jenny Bond. Um, a year since we lost the Queen. Mm. Um, and that day was very strange, wasn't it? Yeah, I think the whole sort of 10, 12 days after, it's yeah. almost like a dream, wasn't it? And uh, you talk about the language used by Buckingham Palace, the King spending it in quiet reflection. I suppose that's what we're all doing, really, about mm. sort of reflecting on our own lives. A year has passed. I mean, when I think when people see the message from the King and the newspapers this morning, we're all sort of wondering, you know, what is different? How are things going to change? Was Charles going to be a, a revolutionary king? I don't suppose much has happened in the first year, but what will his legacy be like yeah. over the next five, ten years? No, that's true. Well, Jenny, what do you think? A bit of a... If you can give King Charles a, a report card, if you like, um, how do you think his first year on the throne has gone? Yeah, I think I'd, I'd be a bit more generous than uh, old uh, Len Goodman, who would have would have said seven. I would say honestly, I, I part, ten actually. I don't think he's put a foot wrong. I think he he did set the tone with that first address, which are showing now, and he was so humble, distinguished, calm, reflective, wise, really. And, and I think that what we saw then was uh, a man who had been a king and we waited for so long. And now we saw him as king for the first time. And I think also we have to say that uh, the late queen, Queen Elizabeth, helped a great deal to smooth the transition simply by announcing that she wanted Camilla to be known as queen. I mean, that stemmed the whole debate. So I think the palace today will be reflecting on a very successful year, a year in which uh, the latest poll has shown uh, Charles has a, at least 60% popularity rating. And what would a politician do for that? <laughs> You're absolutely right. And also, showing us, you know, as the year went on, obviously, showing us a bit of a, if you like, a more light-hearted side to his personality, kind of, you know, sort of halfway through, sort of seemed to relax a bit. Oh, goodness, he's, he has a great sense of humour. Um, he was an ascot, as you see there, and he's a man who wears his heart on his sleeve. And when um, his late mother's horse won, he was uh, moved first to excitement and then to tears. Um, and then there was the great pie incident, wasn't there, at, uh, at Sandringham Flower Show when <laughs> Camilla dra dragged him over to show a pie done in the, like, the face of Charles. Now, he's got a great <laughs> sense of humour. He always used to laugh at me. <laughs> Wherever we were around the world, I, I tended to wear white stilettos. Ridiculous idea. And so he'd point at me and say, oh, wrong shoes again, Miss Bond. <laughs> you know, he, he is a man with, with a light touch. And he's a man also, he, he feels things very deeply. And he cares about people, about unity harmony, community, family, which is one reason I think that, you know, underneath everything, he will be so sad that Harry is in the country today and is not going to see him as far as we know. 
Well, that's true, Russell. Harry is here. I mean, he, he actually referenced his, his grandmother in his speech at the Well Child Awards, but is there any indication at all? Because there, you know, there's only about 100 miles between him yeah. and his brother yeah. there in Wales today, aren't Yeah, yes. well, so the King's Day in Scotland, the Wales is going to be in Wales. I've seen Windsor last night. And uh, as Jenny said, the, the King is very much about family. I'm sure William is as well. We know how much he sort of values the, sure. the, the sort of normal upbringing of his children. But Harry only here for 48 hours, then jetting to Germany for the start of the Invictus Games tomorrow. So, But no time to, to try and mend those wounds, I mm. suppose. And I think there needs to be a lot more sort of a, a, a gap and a bit cooling of relations before that happens. We're still reeling from the Netflix series, the book. Nobody was spared, excuse the pun. And, uh, no, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. No, it's a shame, isn't it? It, mm. it really is. And it's interesting about the way that he's been king, you know, that he's been waiting for this job all of his life, you know, he's been preparing for it as well. Do you think there's this horrible phrase, caretaker king? Yeah. Do you, I mean, I'm sure he wouldn't like well, that. I'm sure he wouldn't like bit, it. But do you think that's kind of what he is? Well, no, let's be, let's be fair. I mean, I think that uh, the language used by Buckingham Palace was always that we're in a transitional year. Right. Well, today is the end of that year. Yeah. What are we going to see over the next few months? In a few days, we're going to be going to the France state visit. That's going to be pretty big because mm. there's a World Cup going on. The Pope is there. I think that the, the rescheduled visit because of the protests, it's going oh. to be you know, kicking off on the right foot the, the last few months of the year, then possibly going to Kenya in the autumn. That'll be a big, big tour, not only going to a Commonwealth country, but the, the sort of uh, the, the memories of, of when the Queen heard that she was going to become the monarch. And so right. I think we can see a busy, busy period to last right. year and then really kick on. And uh, listen, the country is behind him. I think there's a lot of goodwill. We spoke about the first sort of address he gave to the world. And um, uh, as, as, as Jenny said, what, uh, what a politician wouldn't give for those approval ratings. Absolutely, Jenny. You're, you're, you're 100% right. And I thought that's, that um, statement that he released uh, this morning that we, we played earlier was just pitch perfect. It was. It was uh, very, very calm, very short, but uh, very full of love. And I think he will be very pleased with his image today. Um, years ago, I was asked to go to Highgrove grow by his private secretary and, and uh, talk with Charles about his image. He was very unhappy about the image he had back then in the 90s. And, well, we know why the War of the Wales is and the breakup of the marriage. But I think today he will sit uh, in quiet reflection about his mother and perhaps allow himself one little tiny thought that his image today is pretty good. Indeed. And how do you see this rain panning out, you know, in the, in the next year, in the next decade, perhaps? Who knows? Well, um, I think I've been slightly surprised that there hasn't been more change. But then I should have recognised, because I know the man a little bit, that he is really a very traditional sort of chap. So... Broadly, the, the pattern of the year is staying the same, very rigid structure of the royal year. Things have changed a tiny bit. You know, the coronation was more inclusive, etc. But essentially, he's carrying on in his mother's footsteps very successfully. I think change will come with William. Fascinating. Thank you, Jenny. And thank you, thank Russell. You. It's going to be a very interesting year with lots of travel for you. Well, hopefully. Yes, thank you. <laughs>